Hey there, and welcome to Ontario Math, and today we'll be converting metric units of mass. Um, so for example, uh, we'll be changing, converting grams to kilograms, or kilograms to tons, and vice versa, tons to kilograms, and kilograms to grams. Why? Well, because sometimes you might be uh, given in a word problem, um, you might be given the mass of objects in grams, but in the end they ask you to find the total amount of kilograms that there are. So you have to do a little bit of converting there. To give you an idea of, uh, of really the mass and, and how much it feels to have a mass of a gram or a kilogram or a ton, I left a, some benchmarks up here just because um, it's hard to grasp the idea of how much it, it weighs almost, right? So um, one gram is the approximate mass of a paper clip, okay, and it's pretty light. Uh, one kilogram is the approximate mass of a dictionary, okay, and uh, one ton is a small car, or a smaller elephant, or even a really small, uh, uh, sorry, rhinoceros, or a small elephant. So um, you get the idea that a uh, ton is pretty heavy, and or the mass is quite large, and a kilogram's mass is, is well, a little bit heavier on the heavier side, and um, one gram is, uh, it would feel pretty light in your hands, right? I'll talk a bit about the difference between weight and and mass at the end, if I have time. Um, so how do you convert grams to kilograms and kilograms to tons? Well, it goes in the idea that uh, the great part about metric units is that it's all in base tens. So it's like tens, hundreds, thousands all the time. So part of the idea is you have to know that in order to make one kilogram, you need a thousand grams to make one kilogram. Okay, and in order to uh, make one ton, you have to have a thousand kilograms. So one ton is a thousand kilograms, and one kilogram is a thousand grams. Okay, um, so if you are given the amount, uh, the mass of an object in grams, you actually have to divide it by a thousand, and that'll give you the mass of that object in kilograms. If you're given something in kilograms, you have to divide that by a thousand to give you the mass in tons and vice versa. If you're given the amount, uh, the mass of an object in tons, and say you need to convert it to kilograms, you actually have to multiply it by a thousand. And if you're given the mass of an object in kilograms, and you need to find how many grams it is, you multiply that by a thousand. Okay, so here's a, an example right here. Um, I just put this at the bottom here. If you see the smaller unit on the left, then you'll divide this number and if you see a larger unit compared to the other one on the left, then you'll multiply. So here we go. Let's try it out. So 320 grams equals how many kilograms? Okay, well, I'm taking a look here. I have 320 grams, and I have to find out how many kilograms. So we're going from grams to kilograms, so we have to divide it by 1,000. Or I can check here the smaller, unit, smaller units on the left, right? K grams. So we're going to have to divide by 1,000. So I do 320 divided by 1,000, and that would equal 0 0.320, if I want to put in, right, kilograms. And this is that easy. Same given uh, the mass of an object is 42 tons. How many kilograms is, is it? Well, here's tons, and I have to work my way to kilograms, right? So tons to kilograms, I have to multiply by a thousand, right? The larger units on the left. Tons is a larger unit than kilograms. So I multiply by a thousand. So 42 times a thousand is 42,000. And that's the idea of converting uh, metric units of mass. Just really quickly before I finish, um, a student asked me, what's the difference between mass and weight? And, and a lot of times I want to say, uh, it weighs this much, and, and that idea, I guess, is basically true. The difference between weight and mass is that mass is the, the quantity uh, of, of material in an object, and the weight is how much gravity pulls down on an object. So if the mass is one ton on Earth, then the mass would be one ton on the Moon. But if it weighs 60 pounds, say, for example, on Earth, the weight would actually be different on the Moon because gravity is different on the Moon, so it would be actually lighter. So a quick just idea of the difference between mass and weight. I hope I enlightened your night and day today. Have a good day.